G'day, I'm David G, Sheshnag Mandir, Sheshnag.com, what on earth is Kundalini? That's the cat tail, sorry. <laughs> it's the dog head. <laughs> this video is about expecting miracles. Sometimes I think that we as a race expect too much of ourselves. I've been looking at the energetic dynamics of myself. You know, let's look at it realistically. Taking into account constitution, what I'm exposed to, my childhood, my parents, you know. I grew up with a very dominant mum, energetically. Also grew up with a brother who was a bully. So I've been, I've got trauma wounds around being assaulted. My dad, I'm built like him, and he's beautiful. He's got his own wounds too around submission and things like that. They're only coming to mind now they're in the new, we're in this new transitional period of moving from the old paradigm of separateness into a unified reality of oneness. So, me as a person being exposed to that. People ask, why was I in a relationship that was similar to my mum and dad's? To learn love is the answer. Love for myself. Love for the other person. Love and acceptance for the dynamics that we run energetically that we don't know we run. You know, here I am trying to be this embodied, emotional, fully expressed male. Taking into account my parents are baby boomers worked most of their life to pay off a house. Thought that was their reality. Then there's not a lot of emotionality in that sometimes. My granddad owned a service station. So when my mum turned 16 he handed her a spanner. She'd been working since the age of six in different ways. And the most emotional guy that I've ever met had a hard working dad and mainly was at home with his mum and four sisters. You see where I'm getting at? It's like you tune a radio and then the radio plays the tune that you program it with. So some of the things, I don't know if I'll ever be able to beat. Hopefully I can just have a healthy expression and choose to submit rather than subconsciously submit. And I've been consciously choosing to submit like for a long time to see where it goes and see how my life pans out. All the work's to do with shifting some of those patterns I reckon some of the patterns are so deep that maybe they'll never be gone. The beauty of love lies in acceptance and embracement of those patterns and then expressing them in a way that you know when to speak or you know when not to. Acceptance and forgiveness are the grace of God. If I don't have a healthy expression of emotional maturity in my life as I'm growing up then I don't know if it's possible for me to embody a healthy expression of emotional maturity as an adult unless I do a shitload of work get the right mentors and then I'm disciplined enough to work through the work through the barrage of obstacles that the subconscious mind creates to stay in an experience of familiarity if that makes sense I'm just a little bit unsure of, you know I think we're energetic packets that are programmed energetically subconsciously and most of the time we've got no idea of what we're doing the only time that we do is when we feel into our heart and feel connected in a 
an experience of acceptance. There you go. Just a few thoughts. I'm just mulling over a few things at the moment. Om Namah Shivaya. Hara Hara Mahadev. Share the world. Sheshnag Mandir. What on earth is Kundalini? Peace.